for the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins on the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Snow the Man. She's always got another Madden 23 update video. Today's is mostly just a roster update, uh, but I will give you my thoughts on when I think the next major update will be coming out because it was either supposed to come out this week or the following week, so we should be really close. But before I get into that, as always, if you guys want me to continue these roster update videos or these update videos in general, anytime there's a, a, anything worth reporting, I try to do this on a weekly basis. If you want me to continue, Woo! hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. I'm sure to keep doing these videos other than that let's go let's get right into it this is not like i said this is basically just going to be a roster update video but it's one of the biggest roster updates that i've seen as far as like how many players are listed here uh, i've seen a lot of uh you know tweets on ea about how this is basically like the mid-season roster update and they're going over some of the players that have gone up the most uh since the beginning of the year i think saquon barkley went up like plus eight points i know jalen hurts has gone up, I think, plus eight or plus nine points as well, um, because you know those guys are obviously having MVP caliber seasons, carrying their team uh, to what was ex was much better seasons than what was expected. Uh, but before I get into the player ratings, like I said, I do want to go over when I do expect the next uh, major roster or the next major update, which should be coming out. It was either supposed to come out this week or next week, which was really the expectation. But these patches are once again expected to really go and address. Uh, some of the major issues, um, like, you know, some of the franchise bugs. But, um, you know, that's really what the, the next big patch is supposed to be out. It's supposed to be trying to address some of the major issues. And I expect uh, certain things like the offensive line, which has been getting tweaked all year. I expect certain plays that have been uh, glitching the game. I made a video just the other day about the RPO re -wheel, re flat wheel glitch, uh, which is really broken. And, you know, there's ones like, I, I know there's one where, like, the quarterback uh, can just run straight down the field. Uh, and nobody sees them except for the pass rushers. So once you get past that first level of pass rushers, you, you can uh, just be running straight down the field and, and, and all the zone coverage defenders just like stay away from the quarterback. There's a lot of things that could be patched uh, and hopefully it'll be coming out just this upcoming week because it didn't come out today. So I'm going to get right into the player ratings changes. I'm going to start off where I always do with my Jalen Hurts watch who got his weekly uh, one point update. He's gotten a one point update every single week of the season with the exception of the bye week because obviously he didn't play. Uh, one week when he threw for four touchdowns against the Steelers, he got a two point rating boost. He is now up to an 83. Uh, which, like I said, I do these. The, the list that I'm reading is players that are 85 and above, typically, um, and it doesn't really get. Um, you know, he doesn't even make the list. He doesn't even make the cutoff. The guy's one of the biggest stars in the league right now. He's he's probably the front runner for MVP based on the fact that his team is 8-0, and he's still only an 83. Where guys like Sauce Gardner, who's having a great rookie year and is an amazing player, is an 86 overall. Uh, you know, he's he had, he's had a similar ratings boost. He's up about eight points from the start of the year. Um, you know, I'm not saying that one's better than the other necessarily, but it's just ridiculous. Like, when is Jalen Hurts going to get? Like, he could he could have had a couple of plus two point ratings more than he's had to to get to a point where he's he's uh, you know he's just a much better quarterback than 83 overall. It's, it's, he's proven that every week. Going over the top rated players that are going up, the highest rated player that is going up is Nick Bosa. He has a plus one. He's up to a 96 which might be the highest edge rusher. I'm not really sure what people consider Aaron Donald, but, um, you know, he, he's obviously he's not higher rated than Aaron Donald, but he's got to be up in the top five. Justin Jefferson, plus one, up to a 95. Uh, you know, arguably the best receiver in the game. Next up, we got Saquon Barkley, who I mentioned earlier in the video, has had one of the highest uh, ratings boosts uh, throughout the entire year. He got a plus one. He's now up to a 93. Uh, A.J. Brown, another plus one. He's having an amazing year as an Eagles fan, I can tell you. Um, <laughs> so he's up to a 92 overall. Uh, he's a guy that hopefully will keep rising to him. He's on pace for like 1,400, 1,500 yards and like 12, 14 touchdowns, something in that range. Obviously an amazing year for him as well. Uh, Jonathan Allen, who's a plus one overall. I think he had a negative one uh, a couple of times this year. He's up to a 92. Max Crosby, who's having another good year, up uh, to a 92 overall, plus one. Amari Cooper, plus one overall. He's doing really good in, uh, in Cleveland, uh, but they're not doing too great. But still, plus one overall to a 91. Jesse Bates, plus one overall to a 91. Ronnie Staley, plus one overall to a 91. And uh, Quinton Williams, plus one overall to a 91. He's a guy that's uh, having a defensive player of the year 
type of season. Here's one, Josh Jacobs, plus one overall to an 89 overall. He's a guy who's having, uh, um, the last couple of weeks have been monster weeks. I don't know how good he did the last game, but I know he really turned it on for like three straight weeks. Vita Veo, here's a guy every week, he's had like a negative one, negative one. I think he had a negative two in there too. The guy is second in the league in sacks for defensive tackles at six and a half. So uh, him getting a plus one overall is definitely deserved, but every week, I would, you could go back through all these videos, Every week, I'm like, why is this guy getting a negative, negative one? What are, they, what are they expecting out of this guy? Uh, Austin Eckler, plus one to an 88 overall. I saw something the other day that, as far as fantasy is concerned, Austin Eckler has had the second best year in the entire league. Bobby Wagner, plus one overall. Dallas Goddard, getting a plus one overall. Obviously, me being an Eagles fan, I'm biased, but if you go off of receiving statistics for tight ends, he's like second in the league in yards and stuff like that. Dexter Lawrence, the second, is a plus one overall. He's up to an 88. Another really good player. I loved him coming out in the draft a couple years back. He's obviously delivering on that promise. Frank Ragnow, plus one to an 88 overall. And Matthew Judon, who I saw a lot of people were doing like their midseason defensive play, or midseason awards in general. And Matthew Judon was on one I saw as defensive player of the year. I know he's towards the top of the league in sacks. He's having a defensive player of the year type year, and I don't really remember seeing him on this list very often. He gets a plus one overall up to an 88. Meanwhile, every other week, uh, you know, Mika Parsons, who's, who, the, the, the one thing that I saw was the two of them sharing defensive player of the year. Meanwhile, Mika Parsons goes up like every week. I'm surprised he's not on this list this week. Um, so it just goes to show you the visibility of some players because Matthew Judon had a defensive player of the year caliber year last year. The three-time Pro Bowler, three straight years. I don't know when he's going to start getting the recognition he deserves uh, and be a plus 90 overall player to say the least because he's having a tremendous year and I haven't seen him get too many plus one overalls. Now going to the going down list, a uh, lot of big names, way bigger names on the going down list in my opinion than the going up list. Uh, and Josh Allen leads the leads the whole thing, getting a negative one overall down to a 95, which I think ties him for Tom Brady now for second best. I think uh, we have Patrick Mahomes at the top alone at like a 97 at the moment. Uh, but yeah, Josh Allen, I mean, he might be a 99 actually. Josh Allen, negative one, injured his arm. I can't help but notice that a lot of times uh, injuries um, drop guys out of nowhere. Guys that aren't even playing it get negative ones just because they're they're hurt not saying that josh allen is is not going to play this week but he did suffer an injury and i know that you know in the jets game he just made a couple of bad decisions and stuff like that um you know i yeah seeing him go down one point not sure if i agree with that i mean the guy's still um you know one of the best players in the game easily and still has a very good shot of getting mvp as long as he doesn't miss a lot of time with his uh with his arm injury uh next up david bakhtiari negative one down to 93 uh, Demario Davis negative one down to 92. The Saints defense is, is pretty good, but they for some reason their their best defenders keep losing points. There's a couple of them on this list that I'll get to in a moment. Jonathan Taylor negative one, uh, who's not once again not even I don't even think he played last week. He was injured. Uh, he is injured, and uh, he's going down for what reason? Because of injury doesn't make sense. I mean, let him let him go down based off his play on the field when he actually plays. But he's down to 92. Aaron Rodgers negative one down to 91. Aaron Rodgers, man, he should be down to like a he should be in like an 80. He should be in the 80s right now because he's just playing like crap and the whole team's playing like crap. Uh, we need you guys to step up this weekend, in Dallas, buddy. Uh, Buddha Baker negative one down to an 80 or down to 91 overall. Mike Evans negative two down to a 90. Um, you know, he's uh, that's that's the biggest range drop. There's three players that have negative twos on this list, and, he, and he's one of them. Stephen Gilmore, negative one down to a 90. Tyron Matthew, negative two. Once again, another player for the Saints defense, down to a 90 overall. I don't know what he did recently to get a negative two, but uh, that's quite a drop. Corey Lindsley, negative one down to an 89. And then last but not least, Kenny Clark, negative two down to an 88. Uh, but I just see there's a trend when it comes to some of these players. It's really like based off of how their team's performing. It's clear Packers team isn't doing very good, so a lot of their players are dropping. Saints aren't doing very good, so a lot of their players are dropping. It's really that simple. I don't know if it's necessarily deserved for those players, as it really seems to be aimed at their best players. Uh, like I said, Vita Veo, as the team's been dropping, his rating's been dropping every week, but his play obviously hasn't been because he's second in the league in sacks. Doesn't make a lot of sense. I don't know if EA is really doing their research or if they're just going after the top players on the top teams that aren't doing good. Uh, that's what it seems like, uh, which is, you know, 
par for the course when it comes to, to EA, just mailing it in. It just seems like somebody's sitting behind a computer and just hitting like a click, just clicking an up one or a down one every week. Uh, and a lot of it does make sense. Like Jalen Hurts is, is especially, I saw that his uh, break tackle rating went down. Like what? Like makes no sense. Like the guy, the guy's probably one of the best quarterbacks in the league when it comes to breaking tackles. So that's it. That's the vid. Uh, if you guys want me to continue these videos, as always, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Please shout out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.